Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you one of our new uh, interesting products. Uh, you, mount, you might have seen something similar to this before. This is essentially a magnet and this is a reed switch, a magnetic switch. Uh, it has a about, uh, it has a long metal wire that's, uh, that carries two insulated wires. Uh, they're not polarized because it's a reed switch, it's just a connection. And they come, it comes out here, so there's connection A and connection B. What I've got is a uh, 5 volts connected to a 470 ohm resistor, uh, and then I have the leads between the resistor and the LED, uh, and the, the cathode of the LED is connected to ground. So it's essentially just a series circuit, uh, with this being the switch on and switch off. So what happens when I remove the magnet? The LED turns off because the resi because it's uh, the reed switch has two contacts, and the contacts are connected, series complete, disconnected, series incomplete. Very easy to use. And they come with, uh, uh, this comes as a set with mounting screws. So very easy to, to, uh, to play around with it. What I'm planning to do is uh, use this, use a 10K uh, pull down resistor to the input line of one of my uh, picks. And I'm going to have this bad boy tied to five volts. So as soon as I uh, disconnected, the input of my pick will go, will be zero volts. I connected again, the input of my pick will be five volts. So I can make an easy security system out of this. Uh, I can. What I actually plan on doing is I'm going to make a uh, uh, a few security systems in the upcoming weeks. Just a fun little DIY security system kits, and what this will do is this will connect to a main board as well. One of my uh, combination locks. Uh, kits will connect to a main board, and a siren will, siren will connect to a relay on the main board. So you open the door, you've got a certain amount of time to enter in the right code, uh, and the module is disconnected, and, and, and the circuit essentially, essentially turns off. If you don't enter in the right code, you tamper, or you spend too long entering in the code, then the siren will go off. And if you check out my eBay store in engineeringshot.com, you'll see a lot of new sirens. So. I have a lot planned for these things. I've also got some less in it, less uh, expensive uh, plastic versions, but these are nice, solid industrial metal ones. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I think that they're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.